heading downtown where a restaurant wants to focus on a retro style as they open their doors. In short, they want to bring guests back in time. Our Brooke Chow is live there right now on 4th Avenue. Brooke, uh, maybe into a good book or we'll call it a little pamphlet, let's say. You tell us there's as much a visual focus as there is a focus on some fun food in there, right? Yeah, this is truly a story about somebody loving Tucson so much and coming right back to the area that they learned so much from. So we're here on 4th Avenue in downtown Tucson. You know 4th Avenue. It's historic. It's really traditional. So whenever something opens or something new is coming here, people are always like, what's going on in there? So I'm taking you inside to let you know all about it. This is Blush. It's a very pink restaurant. They made us some yummy food this Friday morning to show you. I mean, it's the morning show. Come on, who doesn't want to kick off their Friday with some food? So before I take you inside this incredible restaurant that's again really all about bringing the community together take a look at my conversation with the owner welcome to blush it's where vintage meets modern blush is the newest spot in the downtown tucson food scene bringing customers back in time but it's also bringing the owner back to his college days really when it came down to coming back to tucson is i was missing just a really great community vibe and that's something that i've been searching for ever since i graduated from the university jonathan holman graduated from the u of a in 2010 falling in love with fourth avenue as a student and now returning to the old pueblo as a business owner we are here just really to ensure that what we offer is different than what's currently on the avenue and we really just want to make sure that we create that community vibe just from the start to finish. Think Pink is the motto behind the unique restaurant. The name Blush comes from when you're having a good time and it shows all over your cheeks. You're kind of thrown in a time capsule and before you know it, you have two, two wine spritzers, a couple dishes for the table, and you're here for at least two or three hours before you go next door. That next door is Blush After Dark. Neon lights drinks and a whole lot of space for dancing, blending memorabilia from the 1950s and even sayings from the 1990s. We're trying to just remind people of what life used to be like when you can come to a restaurant, spend hours at a time at a location and really be welcomed and just greeted by all walks of life. Blush hopes to bring a different feel to historic Fourth Avenue, which is all about culture, community and tradition. All right, I'm taking you back behind Blush After Dark. We're here, and I want you to bring the heat to this Friday morning. Are you able to do that for us? It's, it's been a long week for people. It's the morning show. Let's bring the heat. Let's show them what they can expect when they come here. Again, take a look at this. This is pretty awesome. His hand is hot. He just lit it on fire. Look at this. Here we go. Get that flame going. Oh, we might need a little bit more going. But let me tell you about this. They've made us some mocktails. Wow, did you see that? I definitely felt that. Amazing, thank you. This is one of the bartenders here. We have the owner right here, Jonathan. He went to the U of A. He loved the university so much, and especially 4th Avenue. I know you spent a lot of time here. That way he wanted to come right back here, open up one of his own businesses. They made us some mocktails this morning. It's early on a Friday, so if you've already skipped your coffee, you can enjoy one of these nice drinks. Of course, no alcohol is involved in these this morning, but look how amazing that is. They're always looking for more people. I know you have a lot of fun experiences that you're gonna add burlesque, shows, roller skating, some cool acts. So if you do any of that or you know of anybody, you can always apply here. I, of course, have their address and their phone number on our website for you right now on kega9.com. I could still feel the heat from that fire. He's representing blush right here. Again, if you missed it in the story, blush is when you're having a good time and your cheeks just blush a little bit. So Jose, back to you. I'm going to enjoy one of these mocktails right here. A nice little refreshing drink in the morning. I'm going to maintain, Brooke, uh, I want some evidence that you're sharing with us. You know, we need to cool off and uh, share a social breakfast together, perhaps. Uh, okay, we'll call it an air cheers, perhaps. Uh, but this will be fun to check out, uh, adding to the 4th Avenue food scene. Thank you, Brooke.